So when Christopher got sick at four and a half and was diagnosed with acute leukemia, being a small town little farm kid, and I said, okay, how do we get rid of it? Just bottom line, give me the bottom line. And he said, your son has maybe three, maybe three and a half years through medical technology. He said, maybe 35%, the very max would be 50% survival. That night I made a promise and a vow to, uh, excuse me, live a lifetime in three years, bar none. When Christopher got ill for the last time, it was in mid-April 1980, I made a phone call to Tom Austin, the U.S. Customs agent. He and his wife and I and Chris and their kids had been friends throughout the three years. And I said, Tommy, if there's any way to call in that promise, now is the time. They wanted to do something special for this little boy to make his dream of being a police officer more real. Seven-year-old Chris Gracious of Phoenix was awarded the honorary rank of patrolman in late April. Chris is a leukemia patient. He's going to be confined to a hospital soon, but he's always wanted to be a highway patrolman. He got on the phone and called Ronnie Cox. He says, Ronnie, it's time. And Ronnie got on the phone, started calling some of his people, and a helicopter ride was arranged in a real Ranger helicopter. It was a wonderful, wonderful day, and that was April 29th, 1980. It was an absolutely marvelous, marvelous day on May 1st also. Chris changed into his uniform. He had his helmet, his Smokey the Bear hat, full uniform. Chris strapped on his little gun and holster set and he was ready for anything. On May 2nd, which was a Friday, he woke up and he says, Mommy, I don't feel good. And he says, I want to go see my doctor. So took him to the hospital. We um, checked him in. He said, Mommy, I want all my police stuff. I need my uniform. I need everything here. On Saturday morning, May 3rd, he kind of woke up. He saw his uniform. He saw all of his police things. And he said, Mommy, Mommy, where are you? I said, I'm right here, sweetheart. And he says, I love you. You've been a good mommy. Later that night, about 7.35, he passed away. Seven-year-old Chris Gracious lost his battle for life to leukemia, but the last week of his young life was a happy time for Chris, his parents, his friends, and the Department of Public Safety. Everyone has a reason. I believe we're all put on this earth for a purpose, for a reason. And I believe Chris's reason was for this group. Tom and Ron and I stood in the middle of a GPS parking lot after Christopher's first day on the 29th, and Tommy says, we're going to do this again. It just took people caring to help make this little wish come true. It just started like a snowball going down the hill, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Everybody wanted in on it. They just wanted to do something to make this little boy happy, and I think that is so wonderful because that's what Make-A-Wish is. It gave me strength, hope, and joy because there was people that cared. There were people that came into my life that said, hey, everything's gonna be all right. It will be okay. For Make-A-Wish to come in and say, you deserve a wish. There's no worries, there's no stress whatsoever. And they come back just elated just so happy with smiles, giggles, laughter, memories that carry on forever. Those last forever. There are nice things that happen in this world. There are good people out there that just want to help. When I was tucking him into bed, he went to sleep with a badge in his hand. And I tucked him, kissed him goodnight, and he says, Mommy, does this make me a real cop? I said, yes, it does. I said, it's official, but to me, you're always gonna be a trooper. I believe this was Christopher's purpose, and he felt me worthy enough to keep carrying that torch. And um, I'm still kicking, so yes, I will do it until the day he calls me home. <laughs>